If you're into electronic surveillance, home security, boating, or live in a rural area, then you're definitely going to be interested in this. Many years ago, I purchased a night owl night vision scope like you see right here. It wasn't too pricey and it worked fairly well. More expensive night vision products use phosphor tubes, green or white, to amplify ambient light at night, such as moonlight, so you're able to see your surroundings clearly. To be able to see in total darkness, the scopes, or in this case binoculars, also have a built-in infrared illuminator. Recently I was looking for night vision binoculars that have very good image quality and long range at a low cost. I found the ones you're looking at right here. After testing them out several times, I must say for $145 including shipping, they're definitely worth the money. Now these night vision binoculars do not use a phosphor tube. What they use is a high definition camera along with a powerful infrared illuminator. Over here is the strap for around your neck or your shoulder. Very comfortable. One side has this rubberized texture. The other side is fabric and it's padded. The binoculars itself is very comfortable to hold. It's got this textured area for your hands. A look at this end right here is the display screen. You would hold this up close to your face. This whole area is rubberized all the way around. And you can see this a little bit better right now with the light on. On this side of the night vision binoculars you have this rubber boot that you pop out. Keeps moisture from entering this compartment where you have a USB connection as well as your SD micro. You can use up to 32 gigabytes and if you want to access the card without popping it out you can use the USB cable. On this side of the unit you have nothing. Looking down at the top of the binoculars you have six rubberized buttons. Power button, infrared illuminator right here this turns it on. You have seven levels of brightness so that's up and that's down. And over here it says plus with the magnifying glass, so that's zoom in and zoom out. This is a mode button, menu button, and shot button. So you push this button if you'd like to record video, and you push it if you'd like to take a photograph. A look at the bottom, you have four rubberized feet. When you place this down, it will not slide around. You have this brass threaded insert for a tripod. Over here you have two battery compartment doors. Each one holds four AA alkaline batteries. And this right here is a focus wheel. So as you're looking through the viewer, you focus using this right here. Looking at this end right here, on the left side you have an 850 nanometer 5 watt infrared illuminator. And on the right is the camera. Operating temperature range for these binoculars are 14 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 10 C up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 C. With the batteries installed inside the unit the weight is right around 800 grams or one and three quarter pounds. If you're outdoors and it starts to rain all you have to do is just wipe off the binoculars they will not be damaged. Okay to turn it on push the power button and hold and you can see we're on the HD screen that camera means record Pressing the mode button, switches to photograph, and you can see 3 megapixel. Push it again, and here you can see the playback menu. I can play back everything stored on this binoculars. Push it again, back to the camera. Now if I do menu, video resolution, shot button, and then you can choose whichever one you want to use. Press shot again. And if I want to go to video resolution, the up and down arrows with the magnifying glasses for zoom. And I can push over here. I can choose whatever setting I want for the video. And night vision sensitivity, different levels for that. And there's a burst setting you can use for photographs. Screen brightness, power frequency 50 or 60 hertz power saving, date and time stamp. You can set the date and time. There are, let's take a look at the languages. And here are all the languages. Looks like Chinese, Japanese, French, Dutch. Back to English. Let's see what else, scroll down format the card that's inside the camera. A 
Let's press the menu button again to get out of here. Now I'm going to show you some video and images directly off the card for the night vision binoculars. So you can see what the quality is like for this unit. Right here you can see my cat up close. Focusing range is around two feet to infinity. So two thirds of a meter to infinity. You can see very clear. Over here is a photograph looking from about 75 feet away into some bushes. Here's another photograph showing a cat sitting next to concrete blocks. For this video, I'm in my backyard. It's totally dark, there's no moonlight, and you can't see a thing. Now as soon as I turn on the infrared illuminator, you'll see how clearly everything is. And if I pan around, you can see into the bushes and all the way up the utility pole. Right here I have the infrared illuminators off. I'm going to turn it on and you can see way down the street and by increasing the brightness you'll be able to see much further. And right here from about 250 feet away you can see the four times digital zoom. Okay that is it. You've seen all the features for this unit. I showed you the image quality as well as the video quality using the infrared illuminator on this unit. One thing to mention, it does use an 850 nanometer infrared illuminator, not a 940. The difference between the two, the 850, you will notice a red glow, faint red glow on the front of the unit. So if you're facing this towards somebody and they're really looking carefully in your direction, they may be able to pick up that red glow. If it was a 940 nanometer infrared illuminator, you would not see the red glow. The reason why they like to use the 850 because it gives you much better range for the same wattage and it also results in better image quality. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.